Good morning. This is Miss Lally. And what you're looking at is a pile of kale leaves that have been feasted upon by the what is it, the cabbage worm. This is what the bulk of the leaves look like. Just look at that. Just went to town. I didn't I haven't even had an opportunity to really eat off of these this these kale leaves. Look look at that. So I said, you know what? This is not right. I have to come up with a plan. And this is my plan. So I cut oh, here you go. So I cut all of these leaves off I'm waiting for this plain leaf and I covered covered the stems the base with this here cheese cloth yep covered it with this cheese cloth and let them regrow and this will be a barrier so that the white moth, I believe it's a moth, I'm not sure if it's a moth or a butterfly. So that the, that white moth won't be able, what it does is it flutters around, it flutters around the leaf. And then somehow or another it lands on the leaf and takes its abdomen, reaches underneath the leaf and places its little eggs on the back of the leaf. And if you don't catch it, then the eggs hatch and turn into these little itty bitty green almost the same color as the leaf turn into these itty bitty green caterpillars and they go to work on your leaves and this is what you end up with just holes upon holes they they just and the caterpillars get bigger and bigger and sometimes they're hard to spot because they're the same color as the uh, kale leaves or collard green leaves or leaves that are in the same family. So this is going to act as a barrier to the white moth so that it can't land on the leaves. So when this will grow up and I'll be able to readjust it, you know, loosen it up as the leaves begin to grow. Um, this is loose so they won't be able to, uh, they won't be con they won't be restricted from growing up and I'll be and I'll be able to just raise this up and loosen it up some so this is cheesecloth that I purchased at Walmart and uh, this is gonna be my protection over my kale and I have like a few more batches or area patches of kale that I need to go do but the other ones I don't believe are as tattered and messed up as this. I mean, they just went to town. And this is that, it's that time of year where the white butterfly, I mean, the white moth comes out in full force. Like right now in the morning time, it's morning time around about 6, 7, 6, 30, 7 o'clock. They're not really out right now. But in the middle of the day, they are out fluttering around all over the yard all over all of my plants and but it, it's the kale the cabbage the collard greens broccoli those are the ones that they really go after I'm quite surprised they don't touch the Swiss chard I don't know why but they don't touch the Swiss chard um, like this is this is the cabbage I have growing right here I got the pine cones around it so the slugs couldn't get to it but something has gotten to it I'm surprised see the cabbage is actually trying to grow so this is this is my plan of action during the warm months to try to protect my kale I'd like to enjoy the kale so this is what I'm doing this morning out in my garden have a great day enjoy the day we're having like low 80s is very nice right now so thanks for watching have a great day
and get out in your garden.